Hello everyone, today I want to show you a tutorial that explains how to achieve this effect. In this tutorial we see this shot, in which in this document you will see an animated signature. And it is the document in which someone sells his souls to the devil. Ha ha ha. Well, to make this video we will use the great track finger. It can be done in several ways. I'll show you how to use track finger to do this thing and then we will use a variety of techniques in Adobe After Effects to glue this signature on this paper and especially seems to make this signature has been written with ink of China. Let's see how to do things in track finger. Launch track finger. This is version 1.2.6. First of all, let's go in the settings and unselect scale down to 1024 by 768 on Retina devices, because actually we do not need to lower the resolution. Instead, we need the highest resolution possible to record the signature. Everything else is fine. We can maintain any type of display, we do not give a damn. In reality, all these things can be done with the free version, so if you do not want to use Track Finger full version, you can easily to do this with the free one, Track Finger for After Effects Lite. Go to the Projects page and create a new project and name it Signature. At this point, create a new track. And we're going to sign actually using a capacitive pen. End the recording and rewatch the recording by tapping playback. Perfect. Add say OK, then press good and send it immediately. As you can see in the page of the tracks, there is a new graphics that makes us see in the most efficient manner the scene number and take of the track, the date and time, evaluation and send with the filled email icon. If we look at the tracking data, we see all of this information. The email was sent, therefore we can close track finger. As you can see, I got a new email from track finger with this new design that makes us see all the information with a more elegant graphics. We also have the file of coordinates, which as you can see goes beyond the standard resolution of the iPad 2, then more than 1024 by 768. At this point, launch After Effects. In the meantime, I'll show you the file from which we started, the file with the video footage. This is a video shot with unheld camera and framing the portion of the document that will be signed. We will divide this process into two phases. One to create a signature that is nice to look, resembling a signature with calligraphy pen, and the second part on how to stick this signature on the actual document. The second part is very simple, while the first can be interesting because we're going to somehow simulate the writing with ink. So, we have this new project. First of all, drag in the video we shot with the camera. And, for now, we keep it here. Then create a composition. 60 frames per second for 20 seconds. Create a new null layer. And call it finger. We could also call it pen. Copy the contents of the text file that is being sent and paste it in the level finger. As you can see, here are track at first and last name of the signature. One interesting thing is that we can separate the part of the name, the first part, from the second part, which is the one of the last name. This is the point when the first and the last name are separated. So, if you want to separate more first and the last name in the signature, just select the whole first part and move it a bit left, then select the second part, the surname, and move it to the right. The 
The first thing we can do is basically draw the text by simply using a particle filter that generates a particle that follows the position and that is only activated as the opacity is 100% when the finger is pressed. Let's go to Layer, New, Solid. Call it Particles with black background. Apply a particle filter. In this case, we will use Trap Code Particular. At this point, we have to work a bit with expressions. In Emitter, specify that the location is not chosen arbitrarily, but must be the one of the layer finger. Because we, went, because we want to maintain a degree of freedom, do not copy and paste the keyframes, but specify an expression that generates a reference. Holding down the Alt key, click on the keyframe icon. The effect will be editable. If you click again, you will have a keyframe, which will allow you to view all the keyframes, and therefore also the expression, by pressing the U key. At this point do so, for which the particles are generated in correspondence with the position of the new layer finger. If we indicate that the particles have color black, we see that these particles are generated by moving in space and are useless. The first thing we can do is reduce the speed to zero and in this way the particles remain attached to the writing. We need to ensure that the particles are not visible when the button is not pressed, so the thing we can do is go into the emitter and indicate the number of particles per second with an expression. and link it to the opacity of the finger layer. At this point, the particles are 100 per second and are visible only when the pen has been pressed on the surface of the iPad. Increment this value at least 25 times with the multiplication, so as to ensure that the particles are many more. Here you see the previous pictures because After Effects keep in cache images which no longer make sense, because it does not update when you change the expressions. This could basically be useful for our signature. Increase the lifetime of the particles specifying 20 seconds, so that they are live forever. As you can see, my signature is awesome. And that in itself might be interesting to use in our video. But this seems like a very digital signature, and would be good for the end credits of the sixth film in the saga of Star Trek. But in reality we can certainly do better, and to make sure of that, the shape of the particles should also depend on the speed of the pen. This thing will simulate more efficiently the fountain pen. At this point, for simplicity, I create a new new layer that I call speed. Add a new effect, which is the effect of expression control slider, which allows us to have a value that varies. We can set it, but also make sure that this value is generated through an expression. At this point, let's start working. Specify a new expression typing JavaScript code. Current position is the position of the level finger. Proceed with previous position.
and we can copy and paste from the previous row, however, this time adding this expression value at a time, parenthesis time minus 1 divided by 60, close parenthesis, which means the value of the previous frame. Value at time specifies the value of this object, the position, but at a certain point in time. Time indicates the current time. 1 divided by 60 means previous frame because it is a composition at 60 frames per second. We add yet another line, the definition of delta x, the difference of the value of x between the current frame and the previous one. x is given by the fact that we add 0, because 0 is the x and 1 is the y. If we work in three dimensions, even with the z, to indicate the z coordinate, we should specify 2. You always start from 0 because it is JavaScript code. We also define delta y and then calculate the difference in pixels between the previous frame and the current using the Pythagorean theorem. Delta is equal to the square root of the sum of squares of the two differences. Fifty-three dot o six is essentially the position difference between the current frame and the previous one, therefore proportional to the velocity. We can rename the control of the slider as a speed value. We can access to this value from everywhere, for which we can do in the settings of the particles so that the particle size is inversely proportional to the speed. If we were to use the same algorithm that uses the app paper on iPad, we will maintain this relationship proportional. Go to size. and create another expression, linking the size of the speed as you see. With a multiplication factor k. k is a constant, to which we give the value 0 0.1. As you can see, the more the movement is fast, and the more the thickness is large. To ensure that the expression is inversely proportional, we have to modify the expression so as to give a reversal. Increase the value of k, such as 20. Given that the speed may be null, we have to add a constant to prevent division by zero. Here you can see that the drawing is not correct, because actually we have a very large size at certain points and almost invisible in others. Therefore we must add a value here and decrease it here. We have to play a little with values until we find what we like going for subsequent attempts to reach what is the solution that we like the most. In this case, we have that the points where the pen is stationary are too large, so the solution is to lower the value of k and still give a constant minimum value at the beginning of the expression. The idea is that we have to essentially play with the parameters, reaching a result that can be believable and satisfying. Like this one. 
Now we have our beautiful animation with a signature that is drawn by itself. And we might even be there. However, this time, to make things even more interesting, I recommend you to work on the particles and also add a minimum speed to the particles themselves. If we add the speed, of course, the particles are distributed randomly. But if, in parallel, in the area of physics, we also add the resistance of the air, we will have a better distribution of the particles themselves. Maybe even increasing the speed, we can achieve this excellent result. Doing so, however, we must increase the number of particles per second. So, once again, increase these values in order to ensure that zooming we no longer see the dots of the particles with a single stroke. As you can see, apart dots, with the movement that is generated, which is small but not null, we obtain the effect of the ink that is absorbed by the paper. Again, probably, we have to work on the particle size, so as to give a minimum value but the effect is actually realistic. Well, we have our animated signature. We can stop here for now. This part is already a signature with alpha channel and make this thing last 10 seconds. The signature actually takes very little, so we can specify that this is the beginning of our video. And leave open the end by increasing the duration. by selecting the Composition Trim Come to Work area, so that the composition is about 15 seconds long, making sure that the signature starts right at the beginning of the composition itself. Well, at this point in our project, create a new composition with the original movie. Trim the composition at the beginning and at the end of the movement of the camera, to remove the parts Rename the composition with its extension, TRM, to indicate that we have trimmed it. Here we can use Mocha and be happy, but given that the fact that during the filming we made use of a certain depth of field, as you can see in this part there is a lot of blur, we will also do a nice 3D tracking. Let's go to Menu Animation, Track Camera and set immediately in this effect Detail Analysis. That is the thing that works the most. We shot everything with a nice Canon EOS 7D with a wide angle, but this does not matter, we care that essentially it works. Let After Effects track this thing in peace. Once we have finished tracking, we have all these cute dots. We are concerned that the dots are essentially within the sheet, because everything that is on the outside might be bothered by the translucence of the glass. The idea is that we position in the first frame, select the filter and eliminate from the tracking all points that are not on the sheet or on opaque areas. Let us go forward a few frames and repeat, eliminating all the dots spread out. My advice is to throw them away.
let's go on a little and eliminate other spread points. And so we continue for the duration of the composition. These dots should give little trouble because the tracker is very optimized, but the elimination of points of noise might be a good choice. You never know how many points there can be in the world. We are giving more and more indication to the tracker not to consider these points, which could be misleading. Alfod, as you can see, most of the points are on the sheet of paper and therefore will be tracked to the perfection. Ok, when we did this tracking, return to the beginning, clear any other points that we left out because we were lazy. and create a new camera. Let's move at the end. Select the filter and select four points within which should be the signature. And select create solid. This solid layer will be perfectly glued to the sheet of the paper. For this level, we're interested in its location and its rotation in the three-dimensional space. Take at this point our animated signature and drag in the composition. We make it three-dimensional and make it linked to the solid layer, cancelling the whole rotation and any position. At this point we have our signature, huge, and linked to the sheet of paper. We must reduce the size and then drag it into space. And then turn it since it does not reach the right position. If we play back the composition, we see that the signature is perfectly just opposed to the bottom of the sheet. Let's go to the final frame. The signature comes out a bit out. So we have to cut a little size and move it using the arrows so that it's aligned. The time it takes to write down the signature is very long. So my advice to apply level, time, time remapping in order to anticipate the appearance of the last point of the signature, which I think is this. When even that smile point appears, create another keyframe, so that the signature is generated in a very short time. Very quickly. Maybe move a little the signature so as to see the dot in question. I recommend to use always the X and the Y and the never the Z. Otherwise we move in three dimensions and the signature seems to fly above the sheet. At this point we should almost be there, but look carefully the signature. That has a different color from that of the writing background. So lower the opacity to reach a level compatible with that of the writing below. And maybe also changing the blending mode to darken, so that you have the current just a position. The interesting thing is that we can still change the nature of the sign. Because if you look here, you can see that it looks really made up of a series of points, and these points are disgusting. 
so we can change the rate of emission of the particles according to the speed of the pen, so to make sure that the speed is inversely proportional. Again, use an expression. When the pen is stationary, we will have a greater speed of emission, while when it moves, the speed must be less, for which the set of points is so close that it seems a line. We can play with the parameters to achieve the optimal result. Let's go back and see how the signature is applied in the way that we like. If we display the animation in its entirely, we will see that the signature is applied correctly. Obviously, we can get this thing fine with Mocha, but doing it this way with the 3D camera, we have the opportunity to intervene not only in the motion blur, but also on the focus. In fact, the first thing to do is turn on the motion blur to see what happens. We shot with a shutter very similar to this, so we'll say that 180 degrees is fine. Let's go in the last frame and see how the scene is framed. In the end, in fact, the signature is in focus. So if you activate the depth of field and focus by moving the point of application of focus, we focus on the signature. Then we move the beginning of the composition. We see that we are not in perfect focus and we can say that focus improves as we get closer. And then the signature that we have created is very realistic. If we increase the aperture, for example at 100, we see that it is too much. Then try 50. Everything is perfect, even with the blurring due to the depth of field. The last thing to do is to apply a nice color correction. Create an adjustment layer and apply a filter from Red Giant, Magic Ballet Looks. Let's go find a preset like this and modify it so that there are warmer colors. Increase the strength of the vignette so you have this kind of effect that makes you forget the fact that we shot in a very simple and modern office. Well, that's all. The nice thing about using Track Finger is that this app lets you use your real signature and you don't let and you do not have to recreate in some way. It is much easier. That said, you can use the light version of Track Finger so everything is free. See you next time. Bye.